summer is here and that means some folks will try and beat the heat by spending time in the water, whether it's a pool, lake, maybe the Boise River. It's important to practice safety around any of those bodies of water. And here to share some ways to stay safe this summer is Boise Police Lieutenant Chris Davis and Boise Fire Chief Paul Roberts. First of all, thank you so much for both being here on the News at 4. Absolutely, yeah. So we're talking about safety, right? What should folks know if they're headed to these bodies of water this summer? Well, people are going to recreate around pools, rivers, uh, any of the water places that we have in and around Boise or the state for that matter. Uh, they should make sure first and foremost they've got the li right protective clothing, which would be a life jacket or PFD. They should also have the right swimming attire or pool attire on. If you're going to be in ponds or rivers, flip-flops aren't ideal. Probably a water shoe that won't come off uh, if you're in some rapid water or something that uh, occurs that's unplanned. So. Uh, those are the, the, the key pieces. You also want to, of course, swim with friends or family, <clears throat> and you want uh, others who aren't swimming with you to know where you're at. In case there's a problem, people know where to start looking first. And, you know, when the summer, the temperatures heat up, you know, obviously people start thinking about floating the river. Um, that's not yet, but how soon can we expect the, that float season to come around? Yes, that is the million-dollar question, <laughs> and unfortunately I can't tell you an exact date. But what I will tell you is that the river has just hit the 1500 CFS level, which is the amount of water that flows through the Boise River. And that uh, water level is ideal for us to start what we call the mitigation process on the river, that we go and identify the hazards. Uh, we get agreements with all of our stakeholders that have uh, authority on the river. And then we start to mitigate those hazards as best we can. I would like to message to the public that the river is never 100% safe. It's a great place to recreate and, and float the Boise, and we encourage that. And there's a great website, uh, Float the Boise, that emphasizes that and all the things. But also people need to be cognizant. It is a wild river, and so that's why we emphasize a life jacket, uh, the appropriate footwear and clothing, friends, and letting people know where you're going to be at for the day. And you kind of just touched about it upon it when when it starts, you know, those are things that people should do. Are there any other things that people should be aware of once it is open to start floating? Be respectful of others. I think that's the big thing that I would would uh, say is be respectful to others. Yeah, be respectful of others. Parking is a big one for us. Um, park in and Morrison Park or Barbara Park. There's a shuttle that goes to and from so you can park your car at either end and then take the shuttle. Don't park in the neighborhoods. That's no parking. Um, you will get ticketed or towed. Uh, another big one, alcohol is prohibited on the river and within 150 feet of the river banks and the parks. So just be respectful, be kind. Um, the people jumping off bridges, you can jump off a bridge, but you can't jump off a bridge if you're within 150 feet of somebody in the river because we don't want an accident to happen where somebody jumps on a raft and then injures somebody in the river. Yeah, good reminder. We see that. I, I know we saw it last year, too. So good reminder for folks right now who may be watching. Talk about canal safety. I know that's a big thing every year as well. We hear about those cases where people have to be rescued out of canals. What should folks know? Yeah, well, first of all, I probably say canal safety. There's really no safety involved with that. Mm -hmm. Canals are absolutely off limit and they're, they're private property. And so you can be trespassed for that. And Correct. I think the lieutenant could talk about yeah, that. Yeah, so it is private property. You're not allowed to walk along the canal banks or get into the water. It's very dangerous. Um, obviously, they have a lot of it fenced off. But yeah, it's, it's, I wouldn't go there. So you can get in trouble or get it hurt. Yeah. So. A lot, of, a lot of good reminders there. Uh, anything else you'd like our viewers to know who might be watching right now? You know, from the, from the city's perspective and Ada County Parks and Waterways, we just want to emphasize we've got a great new website out there called Float the Boise. Uh, folks can go there and look at that website and they can get all the information about the river and what's going on. Uh, we'll start populating uh, that website with information that's open to the public that'll talk about the right clothing, uh, what the weather is going to be like, where are some of the known hazards that are out there in order to have a great and super float. Perfect. Well, thank you both for joining us here on the News at 4. A lot of good tips and safety reminders for folks at home. We'll be right back.